Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and this guy, I don't really know. He's a friend of the Talis Catan. Yes. But I have the Highland Park 12. Hi to Talisker. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the Highland Park Talisker, then you know the main reason people buy the bottle is because it just looks fancy and, and, and it has runes on the, on the bottle. Ooh. And this year is the Talisker. The Talisker is more about the whiskey. It has 45.8% ABV contrast to the other one, which they go to the bare minimum to be called a whiskey, 40% ABV. And the Talisker, isn't it that they go with the with their their coordinates? They are going just with the minimum of age the customer is <laughs> is willing to buy. <laughs> so two digits, ten years of age. We're going to twelve years of age, and we have our own maltings, and we are on a real island. Not kind of peninsula with a bridge. A peninsula. <laughs> <laughs> we got a bridge now. <laughs> it's it's nice. You can actually go from the mainland with the bridge to uh, to the Isle of Skye, and the Isle of Skye is uh, for long, long years we have been the only whiskey on the Isle of Skye, and you've had always had scupper somehow. When we were founded, <laughs> there were just sheep on Skye. We were founded in the 18th century, 1798. And you're, you're... Was that legal? <laughs> 32 years after. <laughs> yes, but we had distilling before that. We just didn't keep any records of it because it was so yeah. cool. Yeah, and Talisker is actually not a Gaelic name. That's actually a Nordic name. And Highland Park, that really sounds like an English name. But the Orkneys had been Nordish. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they we're made not talking themselves. About the we're talking about Highland Park, the English. They made whiskey. themselves a gift to the crown. Mm. <laughs> a gift, according with the whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> so mm -hmm. we mature in first and second fill sherry casks. We don't need any sherry <laughs> cask because the the spirit of uh, the Talisker distillery is just, sharp and rough and throat cleaning and rough oh. and awesome <laughs> and first and foremost is really really intense in flavor and and as how how was it sent here famous Scottish poet Robert Louis Stevenson as the king of drinks yeah Talisker Stevenson they made the made the uh, the engine, the steam engine. Did he, Stevenson? Oh, what is this weird the different, writer? different Stevenson. There are more Stevensons. This was probably an unknown Stevenson. <laughs> <laughs> the famous Scottish poet. <laughs> Viking honor is the heart and soul of Highland Park. It reflects the unique culture of our remote island, home of Orkney. Uh, home on Orkney. Part of Scotland, yes, but originally belonging to a Viking kingdom. So basically, you say you don't have a Scotch, you have a Danish whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> basically, saying it's not a Scotch. <laughs> Danke well. <laughs> <clears throat> Wonderful. Okay, should we go for a, yeah. for aroma? So the Talisker. It was far very side. far away from us. <laughs> from. <laughs> but you can, I think you can identify the telescope from the Highland Park. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> the stinky one. <laughs> the stinky one. The good smelling one. <laughs> Look here. What I do have for a wonderful cork. It has a turning. So. It, it could also say it's a, a screw on cap. Look, mine can do that too. <laughs> but it's a screw on cap cork. Okay. Yeah, it's more about the bottle. <laughs> okay, that's the talisker. <laughs> I almost forgot again. So oh, the, the right one is yes, the that's the talisker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I put it outside the, the frame <laughs> <laughs> so that you can't smell the stinkiness. Okay, should we go for the high part first? 
<laughs> to have at least one one good one first. It's, uh, first fill, second fill, shall you have to stick in your nose all the way to even find something in there. You have a big nose, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> No, yes. this one has a wonderful smell of sherry aroma uh, and below that a very few ppm of, of smoke. Yeah. No, nothing coming, welcoming you. Nothing coming out of this glass. Mm. Is it fourth fill bourbon plus fifth fill <laughs> sherry or something? So now I, I smell the stinkiness already. Oh, that cleans smell your of nose the distillery. to your brain. Oh, and it's a a wonderful peat smoke that really reminds you of a burnt out uh, bonfire uh, chimney. Sorry to interrupt. Mm. They burned their roof in 1960 <laughs> and they had to replace all their stills. Maybe. So they are not a good one in production. <laughs> yeah, but maybe, yeah, that really reminds of a burnt roof. <laughs> it just captured the smell inside the bottle. With a, a marine note as well. And Rot <laughs> rotten fauna. <laughs> mm, nice. A little bit of a citrus note. I even won't get rid of that sm smoky smell. <laughs> because it's that good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, should we go for the Highland Park taste? Yeah. massive even for only 40% really mature sherry cask inference depth really good I like it it's amazing that you can sell water with 40% and sell it as Viking on it <laughs> amazing <laughs> it's just oh there's a bit of a mm, to put it nicely fame taste <laughs> should we change to the toilet cleaner <laughs> <laughs> this is an island whiskey. Mm. Oh, it's really got mm, a peppery taste and that chili catch going on. This is mm. sharp, burning, oh. hot, sharp. It's rugged, it's smelling like full body, burnt roof, mm. Mm. and smokiness, mm. rough. It's a really an intense one. So if you're looking for a tense fun in the bottle that's telescope mm. yeah okay <laughs> i'm done with that <laughs> should we give the honest, honest opinion mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they're really different this time yeah for two island distilleries they are mm -hmm. really different so the 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 highland park is even though they go with all the rough and highland park and vikings and they have a really nice balanced sherry very very lightly peaty whiskey mm -hmm. and so it's um, the gentle of those two the gentle one. the gentle one and the the talisker is just as we know it it's it's intense it has this yep. chili catch or peppery note i think find the the smell is not that intense ah. but the taste is intense the, the first smell with the smoke is yeah is, is the smoke rough. is more than i remembered for a telescope mm -hmm. yeah it, really more this would mm -hmm. easily go for Nyla mm -hmm. nice nice yeah yeah both are mm -hmm. very good and well established whiskey but you have to <clears throat> match it with your style of, of yeah. what you like if you really like for a rough whiskey even go goes like a little bit I would suggest in how spicy it is into comparable with a rye but uh, very very different because it's so round and elegant as well but spicy and the other one is just a, a very well matured island whiskey nice one really should all so come from from a normal mm -hmm. uh, highland distillery which uh, goes for sherry cast maturation 
Mm. So you, you can't smell out, out of that or taste out of that that is coming from Orkney. Mm. Not really. It's almost like a, a possibility for a beginner. Mm -hmm. Almost like, so if if your, your beginner that you want to introduce it to is not averse to a little bit of smoke, then perfect whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. But in the moment where you have tasted a sip of the Italisca 10, all smokiness is gone from the, <laughs> yes. the Highland Park, <laughs> nothing <Yes>. left. <laughs> so it's just a, a very, very little. I remember the 18-year-old as a little bit more smoky than the 12-year-old. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. That's it. Yeah. That's so it. thank you very much for watching. If you like this video and plan the please feel free to give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to go to the comments and write which one is your favorite and why and why is the other one bad <laughs> okay so thank you very much for watching and see you next time